What's up, everybody? It's First Shift. Uh, today I'm going to do a video on ch show you how to uh, change your uh, status bar up here to whatever you want. Um, so, let's get started here. As you see, right now it's just a transparent one. So the first thing we're going to need to do is go to Photo Flexor. And I'm going to edit one I already have. Um, I'll show you what it is and where to get it. I'll maybe have a link for it uh, and more info for a template to go off of. So anyways, let me just pick one I've already started. Okay, so this one's a more of a transparent one. Um, you can make any you want. Sizing on it is... a. Uh, right here 320 by 20 so you could pick out any style color you like and make it 320 by 20 so I already have it there first thing I'm going to do is uh, like I said I'm gonna make this one a little bit of a red color transparent red so photo flex is pretty cool um, you can do a lot of different theme stuff with it so I'm gonna go ahead and pick the red and color it in. Now it looks the same because it's a tint. I'm going to go to a solid color and as you see there it's like a red tint now. Hit OK. Right there. So next thing we need to do is uh, save this. Always save it as a PNG not a JPG. So save it as a PNG Before I go any further, what you're going to want to do is make a folder on your desktop. Right there. And go ahead and name it what you want. I already started one called Status Jeff. So, you open that up. Then you're going to make another folder called Folders, capital F. Once you've made that folder inside of it, go ahead and make another one. This one's going to be labeled Springboard.app, a capital S and a capital B on the board. So once you've done that, that's where you're going to save it inside of this folder. So, go back there, and save, and desktop. And just go all the way into it, and we're going to save it there. Now you're going to need three copies of this, which I'll give you the names of them. See right now we're going to, have to rename it. And I'll have this and more info as well. These are the three names you're going to need. Default, PNG, FST, BG, and FSO, BG. So, you rename one of them. Okay, and I'm just going to make three copies of the same one, so copy and paste. Take the next name, put it right there, copy, and paste it, and make another copy of that one. right there and they rename the last one and uh, you don't have to uh, a lot of people go in their uh, SSH and change the actual string on this this one's done through a winter board so if you ever want to uncheck it out of winter board your phone will go back to its normal way so you're not messing with any of the strings or anything like that inside your phone so this way this way is actually pretty cool because it's just a theme wise um, once you've done that go ahead and exit out of that okay next we're going to have to SSH so let me go ahead and do that Okay. 
and we'll go to our SSH on our phone, which is right there, and enable it. Okay, now once in SSH, first place we're going to go is Backspace Once. And we're going to slide down to right there, which is stash. Go ahead and click in stash. And from here, you got ringtone wallpaper, application, and the last one, themes, right there. So that's the one we're going to use. So come up here, go to your desktop, and look for the file you saved. Mine was Jeff status Jeff right there so well, all I'm going to do is take that and drag it into my themes copy it in there and done so now we get exit out of winterboard and go back to our iPhone or iPod touch As you see, it's still just transparent up there right now. So go to Winterboard. You see there, there's the stock one. And you check it. Let's do its thing. You can either respring or reboot. Restart it. And you see here, we have a red status bar. If I go into any of them, it will stay red. Um, it works on all of them pretty much. The only one I don't think I could get it to work on was the photos. So let's just check it out. That does work now. So this is just showing you how to switch your status bar to transparent, red, whatever color you'd like to use. Um, I did a red one just to show you it work. Come out really uh, bright and very noticeable. So uh, if you have any questions or you want to learn how to do this or any other things, please uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, follow me on Facebook, and uh, if there's a video you'd like to see, I'll do whatever I can to make it happen for you. So uh, hope this video helps you guys. Um, I know a few guys on Facebook were asking about this, so here it is. This is how you do it. And um, like I said, it works on all of them. As you see right there. Now some of them, if you do like a transparent, obviously you're going to have to work on the, the colors because once you go into it, it changes from white to like a black color. So you just have to mess with the colors you want. But that's it. That's how to add a theme status bar to your iPhone or iPod Touch. This first shift. I'll see you later.